follow me. All she care about is a following. Follow me. Follow me. All we ever care about is a following. What's your name? Emoji sign. Open that eye. Hi guys, Lens here. So in this video, I just want to talk about the best solar panels. Well, this one I have here is a polycycling. There's also the monocycling as well. Right guys, there's normally some specification at the back of the panel. So there's some specifications here at the back of the panel that we will be getting 100 watts. You can see the amps there, which is 5.81A. You can see it there. So guys, so guys, when buying solar panels, I realize that at times there are persons wonder about which solar panel is the best in terms of performance, right? So what I'll be doing, I'll be putting in the video description different types of solar panels and also the best type. So if you're interested in purchasing the best type of solar panel in and beyond, I'm going to be updating this list yearly as well. So it doesn't matter when you are viewing this video. So guys, definitely I'll be updating the list. And just to let you guys know, if you are on a budget as well, these types of panel, which is a polycycling, these are a bit lower. These are the cheaper panels on the market in terms of the monocycling panels are much more expensive right so i'll be listing both of them in the video description and i'll be putting the best polycycling panels that you can get right so from my experience so far using these type of panels right because we have a lot of them manufacturing in different countries right so based on that you want to get the best panel and to get the best performance so guys i'll be recommending this panel here from since i have been using this panel i have been getting the best performance possible uh the specs is being precise on what they are saying in terms of the amps that i am getting so a panel like this will push me over 20 years so with that being said if you are seeking to buy panels you'll make a good investment the monocycling panels they are a bit more expensive and those panels perform at a higher performance in getting the best out of the, the energy from the sun so guys, another thing is it all vary with the climate in which you are living in as well. You can choose the type of panel depending on your environment to get the best out of the sun. But we will be using multiple panels anyway and you will be generating sufficient electricity. And you know a lot goes with building a battery bank and calculating you know the reserve energy that you like to have in your battery bank so guys i'm just putting this video out there to help those of you who are seeking panels and just looking for the best solar panels and also the deep cycle batteries as well i have uh, a few of them and as much as possible you will want to go for Different charge controllers are designed to charge different types of batteries, right, guys? So, the batteries that I have is lead acid AGM, and I have them in a hundred AH. I have few of them, and these batteries are very uh, affordable. And I'm using them because I decided to use them because I was on a budget. But the best type of batteries to use is lithium batteries. These batteries will last you a very long time and it is worth the investment. These batteries can last you over 10 years, 15 years, guys. And it all depending on your application. With the deep cycle batteries, in terms of the lead acid, you make sure that you don't deplete the battery while using and you have to match your battery bank correctly meaning you have to ensure that you don't drain more than 40 percent of your batteries because this can result in your batteries 
going bad faster and they have these battery calculator online when you are sizing your system how to get the best out of your battery bank if you have a lithium battery you can discharge you can recharge you can discharge you can recharge without without having any bad effect so yes guys i have a, a gm type battery here you can see that this one is 100 ah and you can see the specifications there what i really want to put to your attention this is a lead acid seal this is a non-spillable sealed lead acid battery and i'm going to show you a few things and what i'm going to bring to your attention all these information are very good to read like keep out of the reach of children and so on but I'm going to show you two things in specific and this is do not discharge below 10.5 volts on the load there's a good reason why it state that because if you do so you will cause your battery to go bad very fast it's very recommendable that you don't discharge your battery to these levels or you can kill the cycle quicker than expected also you can see here it state that replace every three to five years so guys a battery like this will cause about a hundred and fifty US dollars but I had bought this for a hundred and eighty US dollars for one so guys you do the maths you see which battery is more better for you I am going to list the batteries as well in the video description uh, the different types the AGM and also the lithium batteries that I recommend personally and just to give you an idea when you are about to go and do your setting up so guys basically if you want a battery to last you longer than three to five years you can go for the lithium these batteries can last up to eight ten years but you have to take good care of them and if you have the lithium batteries you may not have to do too much of irregular maintenance but with these you have to check them individually to see if there's any bad cells you have to charge them up there's a lot of work you have to do in between guys it's all up to you i'm giving you the best advice from my perspective so Hope that this was helpful. Guys, my name is Lens. Like, share, and subscribe.